I don't see the world really as a struggle between good and evil in some kind of Manichaean uh, situation. It seems to me uh, that it, we confer value, that you know, nature is neither good nor evil, and that must then include all these allies. It's just that we confer judgment. This is because when you begin to get down toward the bottom line, we don't know what the bottom line is. For instance, we're headed toward a great historical bifurcation where we're going to have to make some really hard choices. And most of the time in the so-called New Age, they try to fuzz all the distinctions and make you think you're never going to be slammed to the wall and have to make a choice. But the choice that's coming up for us is fundamental. It is, are we to become the caregivers, the nurturers, and the, and the gardeners of the earth, or is the earth you know, this is, I put it this way to somebody the other night. The question was, is the earth our mother? Therefore, to be cared for into her old age, nurtured, revered, and loved? Or is the earth our placenta? Therefore, to be examined for signs of toxin and then buried under the apple tree. In other words, what is the true nature of human beings? Are we to be integrated into nature and to celebrate it? Or is nature a demonic and titanic force that is imprisoning spirit and holding it back from its full unfolding in worlds of alien light and higher dimension so far from here that it's a miracle that even rumor reached us of the possibility of salvation. This is a tough choice because one path leads to a radical renunciation of technology, radical pairing of population, uh, and an, an attempt to come to terms with this small liquid planet on which we find ourselves. And the other direction uh, says, you know, forget it. It's the husk of a seed. And it is utterly meaningless in the cosmic drama. And the real destiny lies out there, halfway to Zenebel Ganubi or Zeta Reticuli or some other exotic port of call. I don't see how you can have that both ways.